Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So today we're going to do a bit of a combo. I've been away for a while and obviously I want to catch us up. So today we're going to be looking at Spacebit and CMG. So keep watching. Okay, and welcome to another video. And remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto related stuff, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content as it comes online. Okay, so like I say, as you guys know, I have been away for a while and unfortunately, it was only meant to be a week. I was only meant to be away for a week, uh, a bit of a holiday, go and see my family that I hadn't, some of them I hadn't seen for over three years because of the pandemic. But before that, we had that untimely suspension by YouTube, which obviously forced me to have another week off. So I know it's all been a bit all over the place recently. And, you know, I've not been putting out the content that I have been. You know, but anyway, we are here, we are back, and like I said in the intro, we're going to do a bit of a combo. It's going to be a bit of a quick update for Spacebit, but then also a bit of a quick update on CMG. Uh, we got some really cool information coming out of both uh, games, uh, so obviously if you're involved in one and not the other, maybe check out the other, because you might well think, yeah, that's something I might want to get into. Into so anyway. Without further ado, uh, we are here in Spacebit, and obviously for those of you that have been playing, the big one of the big updates recently, or the big update recently, has been the alliance uh, or the addition of the alliances. So I spoke to uh, Cyril, uh, sort of you know, over at Team. Spacebit or Team CMG. Obviously, uh, the developers are producing both games, and he uh, mentioned that the developer that's actually working on Spacebit had actually come up with sort of a a bit of a sort of explanation explanation and rundown on how the alliances are gonna work. So let's have a quick look at that. So that this is uh, this is what Zoe. Uh, who is the developer has put together so basically simply it's instructions on how to create your alliance but also then once you've created it you've got yourself some members uh, and you want to start declaring war on other planets or other alliances this is the process so obviously to create the to create an alliance, uh, it says here the player will have to choose uh, a name, so obviously something unique, uh, a description, and a coat of arms, which is very similar to how CMG works. He, or let's say she, will also be able to uh, select uh, the factions accepted in the alliance. So. Basically, what that means is you have the opportunity, uh, as we know, in the, in the game, there are three different alien races all vying to sort of, um, you know, uh, wage war or build a space empire for themselves. But with the alliance, which obviously is what an alliance is, you can choose to uh, align with all three of or all two, because obviously you'd be one. So basically, you can include all three of the the alien races, or you can exclude them. So you can say, well, I only want to have, say, two of the alien races, or even one. You can just say, well, I'm a pirate. I'm one of the alien pirates. So all I want is other pirates. So if that's what you want to do, then that's cool. Uh, but you can you can actually uh, accept all. Obviously. To build up your alliance, it's probably going to be faster to accept all. But obviously, each alien has pros and it has cons. It has strengths and it is weaknesses. So some might be preferable uh, for the alliance uh, and others not so. so. But So obviously, that is a personal choice. So it says here, the uh, alliance uh, member rank, the leader can manage everything, including the removal of the alliance if there's no if there's no member 
transfer leadership and promote any member, the leader will name will name the first council, um, which I've started that process. Uh, we don't have a, a huge amount of uh, people in my alliance yet. Obviously, I'm very much late to this party. I realise that. I will uh, divulge uh, the name of my alliance uh, once we've gone through this. So anybody that wants to sign up uh, to my alliance is more, uh, more than welcome. But you do have to have a minimum of 150,000 glory points. That's the stipulation I have at the moment for my alliance. That could well change as... It has changed in the VMP uh, of CMG, basically, um, once I kind of work out how it works and sort of what is required to do well, um, that might well change. But right now, it's 150,000 glory points if you want to uh, join my alliance. Okay, the captain can accept and deny uh, applications, I guess. Um, uh, he... She <laughs> uh, also can exclude member uh, of the alliance. So, you know, just like CMG, basically, I have control. So if there's people, uh, as I've done with CMG, if there's people that are just simply not pulling their weight, they're not putting in enough effort uh, and they're not helping the alliance to get up there. And because the, with this, we are not just earning points. We are not uh, just earning you know, cards and stuff like that. We are going to be earning cryptocurrency for these battles. We are going to be earning Bitcoin for these battles. So obviously, as I do in CMG, I only want the best people. I only want the people that are going to be in it uh, to win it, I guess, uh, and work hard and work together and obviously build our alliance and start getting that Bitcoin coming in. Okay, the council. The council is composed of three members: a commander, a diplomat, and a wise one. The alliance's council is required to take any important decisions, like declaring war. This rank. Uh, okay, so member, farmer, soldier. Um, this rank can be assigned to all other members of the alliance. Okay, uh, delivery missions. This is, Now, this is really cool. I like the idea of this. So the delivery missions basically is that it says here, uh, uh, between members of the same alliance, it is possible to exchange resources and ships by selecting the delivery button in the list of members uh, or directly by selecting their planet. So the, rate, the great thing is, is obviously... Because you've got all these different planets in your alliance, if you've got certain members that are just a little bit low on certain resources, say you know that they, you know, say they just don't quite have as many ships as what you would really you'd really want them to have. People can, you know, we can or I can uh, select people and send resources to them. I think other other people within the alliance can send resources to each other as well, not just the leader. But the great thing is, is, is you click on it and then it gives you all of the resources. So it gives you uh, plastic, metal, glass, uh, crystals. Uh, you can send any amount of those over to a person, but you can also send ships. So obviously in the event of a incoming war, if you feel there's a planet that just is going to get absolutely battered, you can send, you know, and people have got loads of spare ships, you can send ships over to that planet therefore making it a lot stronger and therefore giving it a better chance of surviving uh, the war because uh, these wars can last up to five days so you can select that the war will last three days or you can select that they'll last five days and it does have a cooling off period as well which again i think is really good so it says here declaring war requirements both alliances both alliances need to have at least five members or the total of total of glory points of the alliance which declare the war need uh, the war so need to be sorry i can't read that <laughs> the, the the basically the total points of the other one 
so obviously, so you can have a minimum of five members. So if at the moment I only have three members, so I can't be attacked basically. But if my the amount of uh, glory points I have with my three members, if that equals the same amount as the planet that is attacking me, they can still attack me. So even though I've not got five members, if I've got enough glory points, so essentially enough power, then they they can attack. Uh, but I like that they've they you know that you can't just attack you know it's a bit like obviously when you're attacking players in CMG if they're below a certain level you can't attack them uh, and and this I guess the it sort of works the same here okay so create a war proposal once the first council is appointed any member of the alliance can create a war proposal first a vote is required upon all members during 24 hours for all the members have voted a minimum of 50 percent so basically you need for a war to go forward for a war to actually happen you need a minimum a minimum of 51 percent of the votes so if you're looking like if someone dec right comes i want to uh, put a war proposal forward I want to go and attack this planet or I think this would be a really good planet for us to t attack. Um, we can look at it and if we, uh, uh, you know, everybody can look at it and if every, if basically less than 51% say yes uh, and say over 51% say no, then that's not going to happen. But if it's the other way around and 51% say yeah, that okay, I'm happy to attack that planet then that is going to go forward and then it will uh, obviously move on to the next stage, which is war is declared. So once a war is declared, both alliances are warned in the game. So you get some sort of alert to say that you're about to get your ass kicked or there's a war coming. Put it that way. <laughs> um, after 24 hours of preparation, the war begins. So that's another really cool thing. So once that alert comes through, you can then consult with your alliance. You can look at everybody's planet and then you can decide, okay, we need to get more ships to that planet or we need to get more resources to that planet or something like that. And then after that 24 hours, the war will begin. And like I said, it can be... It can be Selected as either a three-day war or a five-day war. During the during the war, there is no attack limit on players of other alliance. So, this is where it's you know it's really going to get a bit manic because um, if you're away from your computer when this happens, you know you could find yourself that you've lost a lot of ships simply because like it says there there is no limit all i can suggest is at the end of the day i'm sure whoever i'm speaking to the view you know viewers and subscribers we are all probably going to end up or at least some of us might end up in different alliances so um my my big suggestion really to everybody is get your fortifications up to a really high level so obviously you've got those defenses um so your defenses are your um shooting stations you've got your lasers and then you've got the third one which i can't actually remember what it is but then also as well your shield in your um laboratory you've got a shield that shield will protect your planet but it will also protect your ships so like I say, I realize, you know, I could be, I could well be giving tips away to people that are going to be attacking me or I'm going to be attacking. But at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's a bit of fun. You know, obviously we want to win. Everybody does. And especially if we can earn ourselves some Bitcoin, but you know, everybody deserves a fair chance. So those are probably the, the, the hint, the tips I would give you is just get those defenses up as high as possible obviously get yourself a really good amount of ships right across the board if you can just you know any all of your ships just get as many as possible and then cross fingers you should be okay okay so the war effort there are many ways to record a war effort 
first by launching battles on the planets uh, of enemy alliances um, earn war points second by delivering resources so you know that is classed as a war effort uh, third by delivering spaceships uh, so obviously that is the exchange between your uh, various uh, alliance members uh, and last by spying on the planets of enemy alliance uh, war efforts are counted during the preparation phase and the duration of the current war so obviously there's going to be a lot of spying going on in that 24 hours what I'd probably suggest is that is again, I know I'm, you know, it's, I'm giving away tactics. Uh, I would probably suggest um, that you know whoever you're battling against, uh, every member, every one of your members, send a spy mission to that planet because not all spy missions pick up all information. So obviously, I've sent you know to when we do our quests, I've sent spy missions to a planet and sometimes it will come back with all the information sometimes it will come back with no information part information and then you know sometimes it will tell you the defenses and and then sometimes it won't tell you the defenses so if you send a spy mission to a particular planet if everybody sends one then at, so, uh, at least one of those spy missions should record should record all of the um information required sorry about that that was just cyril dropping me a message um see you know they're good guys, good guys over there they send me information and i send i pass it on to you okay so war end uh, at the end of the war the alliance which has the more war points um essentially will be the winner and uh so you'll win um whatever the amount of um the ever whatever the amount of bitcoin is, is is sort of set but then you'll also earn more war and more bitcoin uh, so you says you can earn extra bitcoin <laughs> so you can earn extra bit you can earn extra bit as well so uh once uh, the war is over both alliance can't declare another war for 48 hours uh, and in the case of a three-day war uh basically 72 hours which i think is a bit weird so basically so if you so you if you pick a three-day war uh oh right no sorry okay so 48 hours in sorry i, I misread that so 48 hours if you've done a three-day war and 72 hours if you've done a five-day war. So they are the two cooling off periods. Okay, so. Okay, so uh, if we just quickly uh, drop into uh, my alliance. Here we go. So you'll see I decided to pick a extremely cheesy name. Uh, we've gone for RJ's Starship Troopers. <laughs> I just think... I couldn't actually think, I just because I was going to do the usual mook fish, whatever, like I've done with CMG. And I just thought, oh, excuse me. I just thought, no, I'll have a bit of fun. Uh, so it's RJ's Starship Troopers, if you want to come and join. Uh, we do have uh, a few, a couple of members already. Uh, my man, Sean Esmanic86. I've, I've actually classed him as my wise one. Uh, so he is part of the council. Uh, and um, this person uh, joined today. Uh, we have a current uh, overall uh, glory point total of 800, uh, just over 800,000. Uh, and this is basically the cool thing is what I was talking about. So these are the delivery, the, this is the delivery mission button. So if I click on Sean, right, so then, like I said, you can, you can, I can pick that I want to send him uh some light fighters heavy fighters whatever i can send them crystals um all that kind of stuff and obviously because of the recent change uh where you know the change they did with the um the gui uh which i believe is actually uh going to be changed again uh in the coming in the coming month in the, basically this month um but anyway, so obviously you can see everything that you've got. So you can see all your resources there. 
and then you can just decide what you want to send. So if I want to send Sean, say for instance, a million crystals or whatever, uh, then basically you'll just type it in there. <coughs> Excuse me. You just type it in there, uh, glass, plastic, whatever, and then you can and then you can just say start delivery. Uh, you know, I could send him, you know, one, you know, I could, let's say we'll send him one of each one of the ships. Uh, there you go. So that's one of each ship, uh, you know, and I can just go start delivery. And then that is basically going to send that to uh, S Manic 86 or Sean's planet. He will receive that as a delivery of a few ships. Um, obviously, it's nothing amazing, but it just shows that that's really cool. That it, that is something that you can do once you've got that your alliance up and running. Uh, and if you go into the rankings here, you can see. So this is going to be some kind of season rewards now the 250,000 I believe is bit okay so it's it's not Bitcoin it's bit and uh, I've I've got my notes here so 10,000 bit yeah will equate to one dollar of Bitcoin so 250,000 um, bits is going to be is that twenty five dollars? I think that's twenty five. Is that twenty five dollars in Bitcoin? I think that's what it is. But obviously, that will then be divided by your total alliance. So, in some way, what you're really looking for is an alliance that contains less people but a larger power. So, so essentially, you know, the you're dividing that two hundred and fifty thousand by fewer people. Therefore, you get higher. Each person gets a higher reward. But obviously, that's only possible if you your your each person has a large amount of power that you can then uh, beat other planets with that that few amount of players. So you know, it's a it's going to be a bit of a juggling act. Uh, obviously, it shows here only your top 10 are going to be basically um, earning the big, uh, your Bitcoin reward, I think. I'm guessing that is basically because that's what it's showing. And then obviously below that. But um, we're number 23 at the moment. So, um, but um, what's I going to say? <laughs> But as it does say, um, that there are extra, you can earn extra BTC. So even if you don't get one of the big rewards, um, there is the, a, a very good possibility that you will um, earn Bitcoin for your alliance or your, your alliance will earn Bitcoin for participating in battles and stuff like that. So, so yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm sure, again, don't forget we are in alpha. This is, I can't stress this more. This game is in alpha. So, um, you know, things are going to change. Okay, so if we just go back to um, the main, um because I think I've pretty much shown you everything in there, uh, shown you what goes on in there. Um, so we just go back to buildings, just for so you could look at it, <laughs> not for any particular reason. But anyway, so I've got this information from Cyril. So basically what they're saying is they are looking to add more features this month. So obviously... Um, that's cool. That's something to look forward to. So there is going to be a premium feature. Now, I'm assuming this is something that we can pay for using KSK. I'm not sure how uh, the premium feature is going to be implemented. But basically, that premium feature will have a building queue. Uh, so basically, obviously, uh, at the moment, 
we set things running and then we wait for them to finish before we can do anything else uh, like with the buildings uh, with the laboratory um, with your hangar all these things or are you basically put in motion as uh, individual items yeah so but their idea is this premium feature is essentially going to be you able to schedule your construction so you can put in in, in a priority list uh, what you want building so you can build ships you can build your, your defenses whatever you want you can put in that kind of schedule and then it will just go through that so the great thing is is that you know uh, i don't know if it will i'm a, i don't know if each category will have uh the the schedule or it's going to be an overall schedule for your account i'm not 100 percent sure but even so the fact that you can schedule buildings and obviously the building of ships the building of defenses uh whatever that's going to save you time so because you can just put that in motion and just then not worry about it okay so we've also got some um some uh, other cool um concept art that um cyril has sent me so basically uh they're they're going to be updating uh how things like the planetary defenses look so this would be a, a piratus uh shooting station this is uh, going to be a tehran shooting station they're just two examples uh i've also uh, if we look here we've uh, got some concept art for new spaceships so this is again um just what you know obviously this stuff that we're looking at now is very early days and as we know that um cyril and the team over at cmg they and here at space bit are constantly changing the way like like the avatars here uh, uh look is that they're trying to bring the game to more of a mature audience uh, and make it much more of a mature looking game uh, and more like a lot of things like the rpgs and stuff like uh that are around now so rather than sort of like the sort of fun um cool but sort of almost like fun um pictures they're trying to you know really bring those you know sort of that real sci-fi sort of futuristic um look to it rather than a game you know what i'm saying you know so, so yeah so it's so like the the items are almost looking like something you'd see in a movie and say the aliens are looking like something you'd see in a movie rather than something you would see in in a game uh i think that's basically what they're trying to push for so so it just gives that a bit more of a mature look about the whole thing okay so uh the alliance station uh about the alliance uh we are in test phase uh so basically what they're going to do again with the alliance so this again okay, sorry we're just moving back to the alliance uh so basically what they're going to do is they're going to see uh how the sort of at the moment we're in a bit of a test phase and they're going to see how the sort of early wars essentially um work how they develop uh, and stuff like that and then basically after that point they're going to launch the first season with btc rewards so that is going to be coming pretty soon uh, and like i said ten thousand bit uh in that listing we saw that is going to be one dollars worth of bitcoin so um like i say two hundred fifty thousand. um is that yeah i think that's 25 dollars. i'm sure that's 25 dollars, which then is then split between um anyone that's in your alliance okay so and obviously that like they said is that extra bitcoin can be earned uh by um winning in the uh wars and stuff like that the only thing the 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 big stipulation with this 
is with this game is that you cannot earn Bitcoin. Now, this is something you really need to listen to because obviously a lot of you might just say, well, if that's the case, I'm sort of going to go or, you know, it, it, I'm not interested now. So obviously, you know, and we don't want people wasting their time. Uh, so basically, you can only earn Bitcoin in this game by being in an alliance and participating in the war effort. So that is the only way you can earn Bitcoin playing this game. Now, obviously, if that is something that doesn't suit you uh, and you'd sooner just do the thing on your own, um, then, you know, unfortunately, you are not going to be able to earn cryptocurrency or Bitcoin from this game. You've got to be part of an alliance and part of that war effort. OK. OK, so the other big things that are coming to the game is that they are going to be basically expanding the galaxy. So the galaxy as we know it right now is going to get bigger. Um, like I said, there's going to be a new uh, user interface. And uh, and obviously also as well, we just saw those new spaceships that are going to be coming to the game as well. And they're going to be updating uh, or bringing the colonization feature. Now, this is something I spoke about about a while back. But, the, you know, the colonization feature where essentially you can start sending settlers that you have. Obviously, any settlers that you've designated to jobs. So scientists, uh, workers and builders. I don't believe you can use them as col colonists. But any uh, settlers that you've got spare you can then use them to colonize other planets. So that is, for me, something that is also really cool as well. Okay, so that is pretty much uh, the updates that I have for you for Spacebit. Uh, I hope a lot of that is really sort of getting you guys excited, getting the old juices flowing and looking forward to the next stages of this game um and now we're going to jump on over to cmg and check out what is new there so keep watching okay so here we are in uh, my cmg account and one of the first things you might notice if you haven't visited your account for a while is that once again uh cyril and the developers are basically changing things to try and make uh, the game um, a bit more, you know, like I said, with Space Bit, just trying to bring it to, you know, raise the level, raise the bar on, uh, you know, even just things, the quality of the graphics, uh, you know, trying to bring it, make it a bit of a maturer looking game rather than, like I say, rather than a game game, you know, it's, you know, like a, a you know, a cool game. <laughs> so it's, I, mean, I don't really know how to explain it, but like I say, I mean, with these avatars, I mean, they're looking so clean. I mean, obviously at one point, essentially we all had very similar avatars. They were very cartoonish looking. And with exactly the same as Space Bit, they're trying to push it forward to just kind of bring it a bit more up to date, bring it a bit more, you know, edgy, a bit more, you know, I, you know, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so obviously, like I said, is that they have changed uh, the avatars. And um, so these are the ones uh, that obviously, if you've just got a standard account, you can choose from. And then if you're a premium member, uh, which thanks to uh, Cyril and the team, uh, I am a premium member. Um, that is sort of, I guess, a little bit of a reward for me because of creating these videos for their platform. Uh, I was gifted an elite membership. Uh, but as I've always said in the past, it makes absolutely no difference as to way, the way I will review these games or review these updates. If there's stuff I don't feel is right or th things that can be improved, I will mention it. I'm not just going to be saying everything's amazing, everything's great if it's not. So don't worry about that. Just because uh, the CMG team, like I say, have been very generous and gifted me an elite pass does not mean that I will review these uh, the games or the updates in any other way in any 
way the other way than I would normally have done in the past or with any other uh, program I review. So I've basically gone for this guy, uh, showing a bit of my geekiness in the sense of the only reason I picked this uh, avatar is because I thought it looked like Boba Fett from Star Wars. It's the only reason I picked it. Uh, I was looking through them and I just thought I couldn't find anything else that I thought I wanted or I liked. So I just picked that one and I just thought, yeah, it looks like Boba Fett. So there you go. <laughs> So like I say, they have got some really cool stuff coming. And um, so basically, um, one of the big things that they're gonna be coming to, coming or, or will be coming to uh, CMG very soon. This is gonna be coming very soon. Now this is sort of uh, an idea that we've talked about, which will be ending up in Ulterra but they are bringing it to um, CMG, but on a slightly different uh, level. So basically, what they're looking to do um, is mercenary features. So this is something they're doing. So mercenary missions they're going to be looking at. So this is, again, like I say, this is something that we talked about that is coming to uh, Ulterra. So the players will be able to search for mercenary missions uh, so basically you'd go into the mercenary office which obviously we don't have right now uh, and you can do up to five searches per day any additional searches there will be a cost of gems but each search so one search will give you five mercenary missions to complete um, but the cool thing is, is those missions will be, uh, is up, they're player based. So, uh, so basically the elements of the mission and that can only be seen by the person that is searched for, has searched for it. So I, I quite like that. I think that's quite cool. Um, and so, and like I say, it's one search will give you five mercenary missions to complete, but, um, you can do five searches per day so if i'm reading that correctly that's essentially 25 missions you could do per day so basically you could you might you might um have to kill uh, as, as one of your missions you might have to kill a certain amount of viruses uh, you might have to deliver a precious item or package to a specific location uh, you might uh, have to um, gather so uh, collect items and bring them back. Uh, escort uh, an NPC. So an NPC, for those that don't know, is a non-playable character. Uh, so basically one of these, uh, you know, characters that just have their set routine. Uh, so you might have to escort them to, from one point to another. Uh, hacking, hack a certain number of buildings. Uh, so... That, I think, like I say, I mean, that, you know, that's cool. I mean, that's given you uh, quite a wide range of uh, missions that you, you, you're you going to have. So that, you know, in itself gives a bit more um, sort of meat to CMG, gives you more things to do while you might be waiting for other things. So obviously, if you're in the, if you're in the world, like you've gone on your world missions and you've sent drones off to uh, fight uh, battles or collect items, you know, or you know, or you're waiting for some jobs to complete. While you're doing that, you can then do your mercenary mission. So, the cool thing, and this is what I've said in the past, is I love uh, games that just keep you busy. You know that you're not waiting around uh, for hours for something to complete for to then complete something else. You know you can literally have, like I say, you can send drones out in the world in the world to collect items or or do battle for you. That's one thing. You can complete jobs uh, in you uh, on an, on another thing. You now got the mercenary missions. You've got the quests. These are all things that are basically gonna, you know just keeping you playing and obviously um, keeping you entertained. Oh, and you know, don't get me wrong, I understand the point of this is, you know, obviously to create a better member experience or player experience, but it is also to keep us on the platform. Because if they keep us on the platform, 
that means that with the ads and stuff like that they earn but because they are earning that means they can pay out so you know it's all a balance it's all a balance you know if if Cyril and his team are not making anything through the site the site simply ceases to exist so I know in the past some people have sort of said oh you know it's just all about them and them making money blah 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 it is to a point and I've said this because it's a business it is you know it is a business and without income they cannot push forward uh, to create a better platform to bring updates and stuff like that because they've got a you know they've got to hire developers they've got to hire you know people uh, that are doing the graphic design and all that kind of stuff you know without an income these games any game it just ceases to exist so there is always an element of that so you, but you, you know you you just got to be aware of that and um, but don't always think that it's it's just about them earning yes you know in the past certain things have, have happened that we as members have not been happy about and things that could have been done better um but i really have always felt that cyril and his team are just they just want to push the game forward they just want to make it better they want to give us a better experience because they want us to be stay on the site and they want us to keep playing so like i say you know you just gotta you just gotta keep that in mind um okay so each mission each of these missions that you're going to be doing with the mercenary missions um need to be started by meeting a npc so a non-playable character so basically you'll go uh to a certain location you'll meet that person that that or that uh, character they will give you uh your missions uh, and then obviously you can then uh start and once you've started the missions uh basically or each mission when you start them they have a timer so you've got to complete those missions within that time and apparently sometimes these timers or the amount of time that you get can be quite large but that's probably because if you've got to go and collect an item it might be on the other side of the gaming board and then you've got to bring it back so in those cases um that time required will need to be relatively large but at the same time i'm sure it's still it's it's gonna give you enough leeway but if you stop on the way to have a beer or a hot dog or whatever or to do something else you probably will find that on the way back you are cutting it very fine so just again bear that in mind because if you don't complete it in the time i'm guessing you're either not going to get paid at all or you're you're going to forfeit some of your rewards because it will say that the item yes it arrived but it didn't arrive on time okay so um it's also um basically once the mission is completed you go back to the npc to get those rewards that's what i say you've you there is a return you you know you've got to go back and collect those rewards and if you don't do it in a timely fashion or you've not completed your mission in a timely fashion you're probably going to get either docked some or you might not get anything but the, the rewards will be basically victory points every time uh crystal or crypto uh crypto coins a nice amount is bracketed here so that sounds good so you could be in a hunt in the hundreds uh i don't know it probably will change each mission so you could be in hundreds for some could be thousands for other could be in the tens for others you know it probably will fluctuate according to the mission that you're doing so um you, you also get um you can claim uh, cgt crypto and cards again the in bracket a nice amount so you know i think it is going to be well worth doing these missions and um yeah so but like i say it is going to be something that is just going to be add another facet to the platform and to the game uh and then items uh, so items that you can claim so some rare items like transportation device or a scanner or a control device and more so obviously these are a lot of things that you know the scanners and transportation uh, scanners and teleportation devices we would have to collect items um we would normally have to collect items to build those but 
if you complete certain missions, you're just going to get them dropped straight into your inventory. So that is really cool. So if you've got a scanner, you can go out and look for crystals, uh, coins, um, mining boosts, uh, items, <coughs> loads of things you can do with those things. And teleportation, I've never even used one, but you can obviously... I guess if you've got a teleportation device as well, it's going to help you in your um, quests or in your new mercenary um, missions. Because if you're a long way away from an item, obviously, like we've just discussed, you've got a timer. You could use your teleportation device to get straight to that uh, point because obviously the, the uh, location... Um, coordinates will be given to you so you can travel there so you could input them into your teleportation device and then you could then you can just come back normally because I don't I think the teleportation device I'm not 100% sure but I've always as I've understood them to be a one-way trip but I might be wrong they could be a two-way but even if it is a one-way you've just saved yourself a huge amount of time and then obviously you can get back you know your regular way by feet by walking <laughs> um i mean also as well i mean i think there is some sort of mention of the the possibility of adding vehicles to cmg uh i will just say though that um cyril has said that the mercenary missions are, are going to be added to cmg now which is to version two which is what we're in um they are nothing like the mercenary missions that are going to be in Altera. So Altera is still going to be something to look forward to because what you're seeing now, yes, the idea is the same, but it's going to be completely different. So like I say, don't think, oh, well, you know, they're all right, blah, 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 and, you know, but they're not great. Well, like I say, this is just adding... Um, like I say, it's just to basically bring more entertainment for you. So, But don't think that this is what it's going to be like in Altera, because it's not. Okay, so just quickly moving down. Um, so, I did catch it. I don't know where I saw it. Um, I caught it on Twitter. I tried finding the feed, or I saw it somewhere that... Um, Basically, the guys are going to be bringing, uh, or they are developing, a bounty program for CMG. Yeah? So this is going to be happening in September. All your mercenary missions and stuff like that, uh, I think, uh, possibly are going to be coming this month or later this month. But then you, they, they're basically developing a bounty program that is going to be um, online near sep September, where you will be able to earn WoWer. So, for those of you that don't know what WoWer is, WoWer is going to be one of the currencies used in Altera. Now, obviously, right at this moment, we have no way in CMG of storing WoWer, because again, like I said, it's a coin the, or a token that is going to be used in Altera. But Cyril has said that basically the WoWer that we earn will be stored in a database, obviously connected with our account, and then when the token is released, it will then be distributed. So I'm assuming we will be able to track how much we've earned through the bounty program, and then it will then appear as a actual token in our account once that token is actually released. Um, I'm not sure if it's, it's going to be released before Altera or it will be released when Altera is released. Obviously, remember as well that Altera um, will be, um, will be um, the closed beta is going to be at the beginning of next year. And then the open beta is going to be later on in, uh, I think it's in the second quarter of next year. The closed beta for Altera will be released. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And um, 
yeah, so I think I mean we I think we've got a lot to look forward to um, with those coming updates. I mean, and you've got to remember this is just coming. This is what's coming to CMG. This is what's coming to the platform we are using right now. Uh, this is not future stuff for Ulterra. Uh, obviously, Woe were like I said, that is going to be using Ulterra, but they're looking to create this bounty program. We can earn it now. So if you're involved with CMG right now, you can start earning your uh, the Woeware, which is uh, used to purchase items in the game. Uh, and then, so when you move over to Altera, you might have a nice bank of Woeware. And also as well, don't forget that CGT, which is the uh, one of the tokens that we currently use in CMG, whatever you hold in your account of CGT will be um exchanged into i believe it will be um neutra it will be um exchanged into which is again another one of the other tokens that are going to be used in altera so like i say you know i know we don't use cgt a lot right at the moment but don't stop you know if you if you're collecting it i mean obviously when we mine we collect it but don't you know don't get rid of it don't don't go and exchange it for something else or buy too much from the market with it because it will be useful in ulterra when ulterra is released okay so i'm gonna leave that there uh i hope you found the whole video interesting and informative sorry with the cg uh the cmg uh screen there's not really a whole lot uh for me to show you um, but it was information I felt that you should know. Uh, and I'm really excited with what is coming uh, to, you know, both Spacebit and CMG. And like I say, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. And if you can smash that like button, it really supports my channel, which then helps me bring more content to you. So take care, have a great rest of your week, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.